Wilder, the man who gave you the apartment and some like it hot, now reveals the private life of Sherlock Holmes. Dr. Watson in his lifetime recorded some 60 cases demonstrating the singular gift of his friend Sherlock Holmes. But there were other adventures which for reasons of discretion were withheld from the public. Adventures which involved matters of a delicate and sometimes scandalous nature. The private life of Sherlock Holmes was anything but elementary. My dear Sherlock, there are certain affairs that do not come within the province of the private detective. The public has a right to know these things! Sherlock Holmes was a man of curious habits and eccentric tastes. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Thoroughly. But this will take care of it. And not always what he seemed to be. You have described me as six foot four, whereas I am barely six foot one. Madame says you are shorter than she thought. Oh, I didn't mean to be. I hope I'm not being presumptuous. But there have been women in your life. I thought I would never find you. It's been such a long time. I found her body quite rewarding, especially the palm of her right hand. Midgets. What is it indeed that feeds on canary birds and sulfuric acid and has an engine for a heart? Open that door. Sherlock, when I said drop this case, it was not merely a suggestion, it was an order. By whose authority? By the authority of Her Majesty's government. <laughs> Take this with you. Your client isn't Madame Valador. It's the Imperial German government. Holmes, I saw it. The monster. It's getting closer and closer. <laughs> took a genius to cover up Sherlock Holmes' vices, blunders, and bizarre tastes. Sherlock Holmes was a genius. The private life of Sherlock Holmes was anything but elementary.